I don't know why these people wanted to kill him. I don't know why they wanted to kill him. I don't know. A mother's heartbreaking search for answers after someone gunned down her son just feet away from his own high school. What she remembers about the phone call that changed her life and the information police need you to know tonight. It was about this time last night when we learned that someone had shot and killed a 16-year-old near Woodbridge High School. It happened around 4.30 on a path that students called the Cut. It's right near Oakwood Drive. By the time emergency responders arrived, Brendan Wilson was dead. Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Jeff Goldberg spoke to Wilson's family. He is live near the scene tonight with their story and what police are now saying. Jeff. Well, Allison, this is near there where the area where the shooting happened yesterday. The cut, as you mentioned, and behind me, you can see uh, some friends of Brendan Wilson gathering together, having a moment together. Just some of the ways that, to convey just how difficult this loss has been for so many in this community. And throughout the day, we've seen this memorial grow a little bit, a balloon, a stuffed animal and flowers mourning the loss of Brendan Wilson as this community deals with this stunning loss. You just think, no, it's not Brendan, it's not Brendan, no. That is all Vicki Wilson Moore could think after getting an urgent call from a friend of her son Brendan at 4.30 yesterday afternoon. The gun was pulled on him and he yelled for help. Wilson Moore rushed to the scene, saw her son's car parked on the street, and was then told by police that Brendan Wilson had been shot and killed on the path between the family's neighborhood and Woodbridge High School, known as The Cut. Now, his mother, sister, and brothers are grieving the loss of the Woodbridge High Junior and former Junior ROTC member who was just 16 years old. He was a good kid. He had his issues and he was struggling with a couple of things, but he didn't deserve to die. It's just so sad. Police say three male suspects fled the scene in a pickup truck, but there is no word on motive or circumstances leading up to the murder. My impression was five or six shots. Rose Burkholder was home when the shooting happened, just 50 feet from her backyard. Just I hope it's a wake-up call that we can realize, you know, we need to be helping these kids. Brendan's family says he at times struggled and was in pain, but no longer. And I know that he's not hurting anymore, and I know that he's in a better place. And you see the note there on these flowers saying fly with the angels. Now, police not speaking much with uh, media today, clearly doing a lot of work behind the scenes as they try to locate and arrest the suspects in this crime. No school today at Prince William County High because of Veterans Day, but there will be grief counselors on hand tomorrow as students return for what is sure to be a very difficult day at school. Live in Woodbridge, Jeff Goldberg, ABC 7 News. Jeff, thank you. And as you know, Wilson is the second Woodbridge High School student killed in just the past two school years. In September of 2013, someone stabbed 18 year old Kenny Diaz to death inside his car. Diaz played on the Woodbridge High School football team. A dozen teenagers have since been arrested in connection with Diaz's murder. Police believe that violence there was sparked by a botched drug deal. Thousands of people